Restitutional overcorrection. I like this term because it sounds very important. Restitutional overcorrection. In fact, I use it with my kids all the time. I even use the word. I'm like, you're going to engage in some restitutional overcorrection right now, young lady. Um, it's really fun to do with your three-year-old because she doesn't quite get what she's doing, but um, it's fun for the behavior analyst to do it. Anyway, you probably don't think I'm like this evil parent anyway, but I don't care. Um, so, so Avery engaged in some really inappropriate behavior. I don't know what it is. Uh, maybe she threw her toys all over the house. She threw them out of the cot, whatever it is, right? So she went nuts and she threw her toys all over the place. Well, it was inappropriate to do that. So she not only had to clean up the environment, she had to put it back to a condition that was better than when it started. In other words, yes, she had to clean up her toys, but then I made her clean up her brother's toys too. All right, so restitutional, all right? So putting the environment back, overcorrection, meaning we're going to redo this, all right? So we're going to get that inappropriate response. We're going, to, we're going to make you fix the world, but we're going to make it fix a little bit better than what it was when you started. And it makes it, a, it's kind of overdoing it a little bit. It's like, put, put your toys away is one thing, but adding that extra piece of, now put your brother's toys away too, um, it, it is really the key. And restitutional, fixing the environment, right? So I think that makes sense, I hope. If not, I don't know, ask a question.